Social bookmarking is a modern variation on the traditional bookmarking system that PC users and internet users have been using for many, many years. Traditional bookmarking methods involve the end user sat at a computer, identifying a website that might be of future interest and bookmarking it. That bookmark is then stored on that computer. The disadvantage of this is that if they're not sat at that computer, then they're not able to access that bookmark and they're also unable to share that bookmark with others. Compare that to social bookmarking, instead of that bookmark being stored on the computer itself, it's actually stored on a website meaning that as long as you've got an internet connection you can access that website and in turn those bookmarks from anywhere you are as long as you've got an internet connection. The additional advantage of this also is that you can share that web page address with others meaning that they can also benefit and they can also share with the bookmarks that you've created online. Imagine you're part of a team that's researching a particular subject area. If everybody was researching and bookmarking the websites on their individual devices, it would be almost impossible to get an overview picture as to how the research was taking place, how it was all coming together and identify any areas of conflict within the research. By using a social bookmarking site, it would allow everybody to be able to see what everybody else was contributing any areas of overlapping interest could be identified as well as any areas of conflict within the research. From a learning perspective it would allow a trainer or a learning facilitator to gather together a number of websites that would be of interest to their learners in the given subject field and then share that link with the learners themselves. Essentially it would be creating some online guided reading. The collaborative aspect of social bookmarking sites would then mean that the learners themselves could go away, research additional websites of interest relating to their subject area and add them to the social bookmarking site itself. So a truly collaborative experience that could be used time and time and time again and create a very living, breathing, organic, useful online resource. When you add a website to a social bookmarking site for the first time, it's really important that you give it some tags. A tag is a word or a phrase that you feel sums up that particular website in question. So for example, if I was bookmarking a website on the use of social media policies within blue chip organisations, I'd probably given it the following tags. Tag number one, social media. Tag number two, I would probably give it policy and tag number three, business. That would then be added to a tag list on the website that other users could scan through, find particular words or phrases that they feel that they are looking for further information from and then clicking on that tag. So clicking on social media probably wouldn't just open up that particular website that I just mentioned, but would open up any website that I tagged with the social media tag. You're more than welcome to have a look at my social bookmarking site. You can find it at www.digo.com forward slash user forward slash Craig Taylor 1974. That web address will actually be contained in the credits at the end of this short video clip. <laughs>